Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM on an MSI motherboard. Okay, so TPM 2.0 is needed for Windows 11. Uh, it's one of the requirements. Or maybe you just want to encrypt your hard drive, Windows 11 with BitLocker, Windows 10, Windows 8, or any other di uh, Linux distro. So for that, I'm going to turn on the machine. We have to access the BIOS. I'm going to start pressing Dell. As you can see over here, you don't have to press it this many times. Um, and you can see we're in the BIOS right now. You can see all the options depending on what model you have, when you bought it. You, this might look a little different. So you can see all the characteristics for this motherboard at the bottom. So from here, we're going to go to security. We're going to click on that and we're going to look for trusted computer. One pause here. If you don't see this option, trusted computer or something similar under security, that means your laptop, your desktop computer, your MSI motherboard doesn't have the physical chip. So it cannot, it doesn't have TPM in other words, and you cannot encrypt. Okay, there is not much to do if you don't have it. If you do, click on that trusted computing. And as you can see, security device support is disabled at the moment. You click on that again and you select enable. So from here, we are going to go to save and exit and, going, and we are going to reboot the machine. I want to show you something. I want you to see something. So save changes and reboot. Yes, and while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So after the reboot, we start pressing Dell, the Dell key again to access the BIOS one more time. From here, we're going to go to security we're going to click on trusted computing and you can see security trusted computing it says tpm 2.0 device found that means we enable it and the version we have is 2.0 uh, which is needed for windows 11. you might also see uh, tpm 1.2 which is an older version but still you can encrypt your hard drive with bitlocker or any other software on linux but you cannot and you uh, it's um, 2.0 is needed for Windows 11. In any case, that's how you enable it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.